guess who couldn't unsubscribe from Art Snacks? I couldn't. I got sucked in for another month. <laughs> if you saw the last Art Snacks video I did, I got the September 2021 box. I was originally only planning to get one box and then unsubscribe. But here we are with another box. So I was gonna unsubscribe and then they sent me an email like sneak peek for the next box and it was inks and I I have been wanting more inks and um, I know Art Snacks always sends you good quality stuff so I was like I'm gonna say subscribe for one more month. So here we are. I have another box. I okay so if you don't know what Art Snacks is, Art Snacks is our subscription box and then every month they will send you a box with mystery art supplies and they have two options. Um, one it comes out this one comes out to about thirty dollars with shipping and everything and then they have another box that is like forty dollars but it comes with like a couple extra supplies and i know you get like a paper to use but um this one appeals to me more because i already have so much paper i don't need more so i thought it'd be fun from my last art box to do a little bit of a supply i kind of thought i wasn't gonna like but then really didn't like or like what was my favorite supply after having the box for a whole month and having time to use the supplies so the supply i use the most actually shockingly enough is this pencil I said I didn't really like because it's just a pencil. Yes, it is, but I really don't have many pencils like this. So this is a touch drawing pencil I got in the last month's box and it is a, a, a 2H in hardness, which means it is really light. And for someone like me who draws naturally really hard, this pencil is kind of better because it's harder to draw darker with a like a higher hardness pencil. So I've actually been using this one a lot. I even stuck this eraser on the end because it doesn't have an eraser. And I usually use mechanical pencils when I draw, but this one has been like, I don't know, I really love this pencil actually. So yeah, this is probably the supply I didn't think I was gonna like from this box and I ended up loving, which is shocking. <laughs> but anyways, without further ado, I guess we will get into the box. I'm excited. I can already hear that there's an ink in here, so that is exciting let's get some scissors i always get super excited mystery boxes this box was like my reason to live for a month that sounds sad in like a not sad way it was something to look forward to let me live um it's not coming out these always have such a long piece of cardboard i think this box is ooh, there we go okay okay so there's a lot I, this is the first thing i see and it says something of Liquitex. I believe this is the ink. Okay. I feel like I need to like collect my thoughts because they're all over the place. So the candy for this month is a butterscotch dum-dum. And I don't like butterscotch. So this one will also be given to my brother. Um, they're not my favorite. Uh, should we open the ink first? I guess we'll open the ink first. I also see the menu in here and I'm just gonna toss it to the side for now because I'll read that at the end. Okay, let's see what color I got. This is exciting. Ooh. This is a really nice green. I got a fluorescent green. That's really nice. Acrylic ink. Okay, I don't know how to use acrylic ink at all. This looks so exciting. I love this. I was actually planning to do a spooky drawing today with all the supplies I get. And this, this is a nice color. <laughs> I guess we'll get into the other thing. So the next thing, of course, is a little wrap thing with the rest of the supplies. I'm always so scared to tear the wrapping paper. I don't know why. Oh cool! The sticker for this month is so cute. So I got this sticker and it is... My camera never focuses and I'm scared to poke anything. So I'll show you everything close up but you can kind of see it's like skulls. It's so cute. Okay and then there's three other things. Cool. So not a lot of supplies this month. There's about four things in total but these look like some cool things. So the first thing I saw was this paintbrush. It's a watercolor brush. That's cool. And it's a round brush. Okay, I think that's the Winsor and New Newton logo right here, but it's a watercolor brush. I'm always scared when I get sent brushes because I tend to absolutely obliterate my brushes. <laughs> I'm always scared to use whenever I get a good one, but honestly, I need more good quality brushes. These are just like so fancy. Like they even have covers for the bristles. Like, ugh, gonna destroy that. Okay, we have another drawing pencil, it looks like. Okay, I don't want to curse, because that's going to sound like if I say that, I'm going to curse. And it is a hardness of B, so I think B is pretty soft. I get a little... Yeah, B is pretty soft. Um, not super soft. It's like an in-between. So we got a drawing pencil. The very last thing is this manga liner. Um, looks like it's from... I can't read too much of it, but there's a frog and a bunny. Well, there's a frog. Is the buddy. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic. Okay, it looks like a paint pen. 
because that looks like a, I need a piece of paper. I never come prepared. Luckily I always have random pieces of paper on my floor. Oh, that's cool. It's metallic. Wow. So let's take a quick look at the menu and then I'll give you a close up of everything. That is a really expensive brush. My gosh. <laughs> I always get excess, um, scared with expensive things. Uh, this seems just to me like acrylic marker. It just basically says waterproof when dry. So this just to me seems like an acrylic marker that's metallic. Wow, so those 20 different colors you can get and I just got neon green. That's that's exciting. There was only four art supplies this week, this week, this month. And first thoughts of this box. I, once again, I'm sleeping on the pencil. Like, I wish they sent me something else. I... I need more drawing pencils, obviously, if you could tell by the fact that the last month's favorite for me was a pencil. But with these boxes, I always hope for something else, so that's my first thought. The paintbrush is cool, um, not super excited for it because I'm always scared to ruin these because it says on the- where'd the menu go? It says on the menu that this brush can go from $12 to like 17 which is like an expensive brush so I get like super scared whenever I get a brush and my favorite thing in this box first impression has to be this like I like neons <laughs> so this is really cool this box maybe does seem like one that maybe wasn't worth the $25 um but I'm still happy I got it because this ink makes it worth it for me. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll get into a close-up of all the supplies and then we'll start making whatever it is I'm going to make with these. I want to do something Halloween-y, but I'm gonna be <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to go with this. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So here is all the supplies I got in the box. And now I'm just going to give you a quick close-up of everything. Um, here I'm just showing you the menu in case you wanted to see what it said and see like the prices of everything. And then the first thing I show you is a paintbrush. I don't really have too much to say about any of these supplies. Uh, I just wanted to give you a closer look because I know when I was unboxing it, it was kind of hard to see. Okay, I just have something to say because this green looks way more green in real life. Just picture like the most neon green you can think of and that's what it looks like. I don't know why my camera kind of makes it look less green, but in real life it is such a bright green. Now we're just testing everything out. Um, I decided to go with the ink first. Also, you can tell I have my Hello Kitty mat down in the background. I probably should have taken it off to show you all the supplies, but I just left it in case somehow I made a mess. But here we're just testing the ink. I was kind of just having fun with a dropper there. Um, so it made a bubble and I thought it was fun and I went to go grab a paintbrush to smooth it out. I could have used a paintbrush from the box, but I was terrified and then I was like, no, I need to just use the paintbrush from the box. And then I was about to do it and was terrified again and went to get a different brush. <laughs> um, I'm just so terrified of ruining a good brush. So yeah, I just spread it out and was like, yep, that's ink. And yeah, I had no idea what I was gonna do at this point with all these supplies. Um, so I decided to just scribble them out to, I don't know, brainstorm ideas. And I was just like, yeah, I don't know what to do with a pencil, ink, and a marker. So I did some planning and decided to draw like an oozy monster was the plan, basically. Um, yeah, this, this looks like a disaster, but I promise it gets better. I also decided to use this cool square canvas I got for my birthday. I just... Thought it would look cool. So first thing I did was sketch it out. And I kind of went off camera to do most of the sketching because I started and then I was like, what the heck am I doing? So then I went off camera. I sketched it all in and it looks pretty good here. But to me, it turned out better than I expected. So yeah, so here what I'm doing is I'm basically just outlining it in the marker. I got the metallic green one. And I just basically decided to abs outline absolutely everything. I originally was gonna like smudge it as I went with the ink, but then I was like, that's not gonna work out because it was just drying so quickly. So I decided to just outline the whole thing. Yeah, I also had to like <laughs> redraw the Uzi lines a bunch of times because I just couldn't get it right. And I was like, this, this looks bad. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. So I kind of just went for it. <laughs> and I was like, if this is a disaster, this is a disaster because 
It was just so iffy. It took me a bit to get all the lines in just because I was so hesitant to mess it up. I was like, oh, does the Uzi Lake look good? And I just kept hesitating. You can kind of see that in the time lapse. I just, I was so scared of messing this up. I decided to paint the background in with a neon first, just in case you could see it through. That way it would have like a neon-y look, but you ended up not being able to see it through. And then here I just went out around all the bubbles with the pencil to make it darker around the bubbles because basically because I got a neon ink, it was very hard to get like value because it's just such a bright color. So I kind of used the marker and then the pencil for all the places that were darker. Uh, the pencil was definitely supposed to be like my darkest color and I kind of just went like really hard around <laughs> anything I wanted to be darker. Um, so here I'm just filling him in a little bit more. I did all the bubbles with ink and then I'm just washing him over basically with ink. Um, and then I was able to mix the marker with the ink a little bit and that's what you see I'm doing here. I'm putting some like shadows in and oh I kind of love how this one turned out. He turned out so much better than I expected. So here I'm just putting them all in. I did end up using the paintbrush from the box. You can kind of see it in the clips. I just decided I have to use it. I can't just be afraid of using it. I did use one supply that wasn't in the box. So you'll see me in a second here. I needed to add highlights. It just didn't look right. And technically I could have left the canvas blank where I needed white, but I'm just so bad at doing that. So I just used some white paint to um, do some highlights. And here I'm just painting around the edge with black just so it looks a little better and cleaner. Okay, but after I finish with the black, we're done. And he turned out so well, considering I used only ink, a pencil, and then the paint marker. He looks so good. Let me know what you think of him. I absolutely loved him. He turned out way better than I expected. And I think he's an amazing goo monster. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed seeing me make something with all the supplies in this box. It was probably a little bit of a spooky one because Halloween's coming up, guys. So, like I said with these, like I've said with these boxes before, I feel like sometimes everything you get is probably not worth what you pay, but you kind of pay for the surprise. And I love boxes like this because I like being surprised every month with mystery art supplies. And then it's kind of a challenge for me to try to figure out what to do with just the supplies they give me. So it's always really exciting. So I kind of love these boxes, even though you might be looking at what I got this month and being like, mm, I don't know if that was worth it. Maybe it wasn't, but honestly, I really like doing these videos and it's a lot of fun to just like challenge yourself to come up with something using only the supplies you get in the boxes. I don't know if I'll stay subscribed for next month. So next month would be November. Um, 2021 and I don't know if I'm gonna stay subscribed so I guess you can subscribe to my channel <laughs> to see if I stay subscribed to art snacks but I don't think I will that being said I still do want to do more related videos on this channel so me unsubscribing for art snacks does not mean that the art videos on this channel stop um I want to do more art videos along with the content I usually make on this channel <laughs> so yeah anyways I think that's it for this video so I'll see you soon in the next art video probably but that's it for this one so <laughs> bye